Well then, welcome to part four of Mad Max Speedrun Tutorial. Part three was abruptly cut off. What the fuck? Oh my fucking god. So, before we were so rudely disconnected, we go to Crow Dazzle to win the Speed Demon Death Run. Balbath, Speed Demon, alright, start this race. Jesus fucking Christ. Now at the very start of the run here, we're going to go to the left, off this cliff, cliff. And we are going to fuck it up right off the fucking bat, god damn it. This is a barrel race, so you want to hit every single barrel. They're checkpoints. If you miss one, you fucked it up. Kinda slow down here, boost. Kinda slow down here. Do not hit a wall, do not spin out. Boost. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Well, I might be lucky, and this might still be above a minute, or not. There we go. Just tap on the vehicle. to maintain control. Hey, st still a minute left. All right. Well, we saved it for as much as we could. Here we go. Now we, uh, talk to Fumehead, or Tenderloin. <laughs> oh, it's faster to jump while you're in this area. Three, two, one, go. Right after the mission completion, you want to do a quick three second count. Okay, this race is going to be tricky. Ooh, cool. Oh, I wish I got a screenshot of that. Alright, we want to line up our sight with 
uh, the big chief, the front vehicle there, and fire a thunder poon right off the bat, and then boost twice. There we go. Alright, perfect. Okay, this this is tricky. There we go. One, two, three, four. Have her attack. Block. One, two, three, four. Have her attack. Guard. One, two, three, four, the counter. Draw out an attack. Counter, hit her four times. Do that and you won't fuck it up. What? Get, get him down to a third of health, then he's invincible, and you have him run into uh, the barrels. Then get him down to, or uh, deal another third of damage health to him, and then that he's invincible. Then have him run into another pile of barrels. Maneuver around those guys. They're nothing. I'm gonna do it. Could have been a little better, but that's all you got to do.
Am I at how much scrap? I think that death fucked up my scrap count. Cause I was supposed to already have gone another hundred scrap from the cleared camps. Now it is possible to get through here too fast, and if you do, there's a door you have to go through that will be closed. And I will show you exactly where that moment is. Right here, you want to wait until the mission is uh, updated. The door's open. Just a little precaution. Because if you get here too fast, that door will be closed. So we talked to her. It's gross, it's terrible. Full ammo, shivs, uh, high enough health. Go. That works almost every time. You just roll past the enemies and we're fine. Didn't need to kill him, but I felt like it. Also, in here, the enemies will not follow you. Oh, never mind. Well, you don't stick around anyway f for them to follow you, so it doesn't matter. Now, I killed this guy with a knife first because he's one of the more un fucking annoying enemies in the game. Also, you want to shoot the blue guy. Whoever you get, whoever else you hit in the blast, great. But that blue guy is the second most annoying enemy. We don't need to fill up all the way, so just mash cancel. And get rid of the fucking thing. There we go. Now this vehicle has the side flamethrowers. And only for this encounter do we have infinite fuel for this. No intention of going this way, but things are already fucked, so it's whatever.
What the fuck did I? I hate this encounter so much because this vehicle is so hard to control. There's shit on the ground that you run into so fucking easily. So we get the big chief back to deep fry his place. Mission complete. Go to the car. Cutscene. Skip. Wait for the autosave icon. There we go. Fast travel to the Underdunes. However, we are not actually going back to the dunes from this side. We are getting into the car and meeting up with this old man. Get our boost back up to full. Here, boost. Boost. And cutscene. Nothing special, but bonus points if you knock over the old man. He's dead. Go over the hill. Four bullets. Okay. Good job. Right here. Boost again. All right. Boost through that gate. There's my. Fucking hundred scrap, goddamn. Upgrade the knuckle dusters to deal more damage. Oh god. Jesus, I thought I was gonna die. God. Steeple Nebel. Hey, Boy, thanks for the follow. The Five days late. I'm sorry about that. Alright, so we're just going through, following this. Nothing special. Grab this ammo in the hopes that we get a shotgun round, which we don't. We don't need any more scrap. We do want to get an angle here. Ah, that did not go great. Let's see if this asshole dropped a shell for us, and yes he did. Awesome. It's like we never used a shotgun shell. Roll off of this edge. There we go. If you do that right, you'll slide down the hill. Okay. 
Okay. Now we grab the ammo box here and hope for one more shotgun shell, which we get. For this fight, you'll loot, use at least two shells, but you can use three if you want. Eh, that was kind of poor getting down there. Okay. By the way, from that first encounter, grab the fucking weapon. It helps, and I'll show you why here in a second. However, you want to grab it, but drop it in this area. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Take the little girl out, out, out of here, anyway. You know how to get out of here? Not to me, out. It must be. Okay, now we are about to get into a fight with a buzzard top dog and a bunch of his minions. This is actually the only time that we do fight a buzzard top dog. Okay, hit this guy or not. God damn. This is going poorly. Oh my god! Fucking Christ. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I have no health. Get off me! Now I have to deal with more. God damn it. If the first wave of enemies die, you're going to get a second wave.
this whole fight was just terrible. I cannot express how bad this was. I don't need this scrap. I'm just picking up for the fuck. Do not loot the dead bodies. You do not need to. Okay? Come on. Loot the big dog because he gives you shotgun shells. But the other bodies, do not worry about them at all. They are nothing. I say loot the top dog for the shotgun shells because we need those shotgun shells for the next fight. Now I have low health and no water. Great. Going through this in your run, you should not have this low health. And you should have some water. And I hate this fucking vehicle. We all hate this fucking vehicle. Other than something big, like the big chief, like this vehicle has one of the worst controls in the whole game. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck am I on? Stupid invisible wall, god. vehicles remains they should not be able to catch up to you yeah there you go okay we're free we don't have to worry about that portion anymore <clears throat> however we have such low health that we might I you know I might just fucking die That way I don't have to worry about dying later. But again, you should not be this low health if you're doing a speed run. be surprised if I die right now because that fucker could snipe me. Ah, lucky I didn't get sniped. Okay, now we just make our way back to Deep Raya. Do the shortcut. Here we, are. we just go around, and here we go. All right. Okay, mission complete. Then we go down back to Chum Bucket's hideout.
roll three times. And sprint. Now hopefully I do this right. What you want to do is get close enough, aim your shotgun, and not aim at stink gum, but the enemy behind him. Just like that. Oh god. Now I have a bullet left, but I don't want to use it. Not yet. Oh god. There we go. Alright, a little slow, but that's alright. Now we want to fast travel to Deets, but Jeets. But we can't do anything until this dialogue is done. the vehicle uh, we can't skip chum bucket's dialogue but we can't skip max's there we go now the reason why we fast traveled to jeets is because we uh, made the armory project so we get a free ammo refill which is also why we wanted to keep one bullet in the chamber of our shotgun. Now we need to go to Deep Fry, so we fast travel back to Crow Dazzle here. Get in our vehicle. Careful going through here because this tunnel is a pain in the ass. Oh, that was good. Skip the scene. Mission pop up. Get out of the car. Run off the ledge here. Okay. Start punching this wall. Start punching. There we go. Works every time. Because that is nearly a minute long, minute long dialogue that we cannot skip. Well, we can skip, obviously. But have to endure if you fail skipping the dialogue. And it's just pointless. Now here we're going to the uh, organic mechanic. To talk to this guy. Where's Scorbis? I will tell you. 
Now on PS5, it takes 13 or 14 seconds to skip the cutscenes. On PC, I think it was 8 seconds. And on PS4, 20. That's not exactly what I wanted, but it works. Now we just want to get as far ahead of the convoy as possible. Up to a certain bridge, up to a certain point. Because we are going to snipe the tires off the rest of these vehicles. Shit. One vehicle left. And that is how you do that. Give ourselves some space here so we don't get caught by the explosion there. There we go. Deal with the vehicles, rip off the sides of the of that one, and blow them up. Okay, right about here, skip scene. Boost. Skip scene. Okay, run toward it. Well, there we go. There we go. Shit, really? And that's game. Alright. You gotta be careful aiming that though, because you could miss or not get a direct hit and you actually deal less damage. So you gotta be careful when you're uh, throwing the thunder stick there. And that is how you speedrun Mad Max. So, hopefully... takes his practice. Now, if you're low on mission objectives, 
possible ones that you can get without losing too much time. Um, anytime you're driving in the open world before the jaw and you come across a Scrotus vehicle, um, Scrotus vehicles are kind of blue-ish, while roadkill vehicles are red, and buzzard vehicles have spikes on them. So anytime you see a Scrotus vehicles, if you have the ammo, you can blow them up, or destroy them in some way. There is an objective for destroying 10 Scrotus vehicles. Which by the time you clear the jaw is when uh, that objective will c should pop up. But if you fail, then nothing can be done about it. Or if you just don't get it, then nothing else can be done about it. Another one is five side rams. Now, at the very beginning of the game, um, when we get the car body and we run into the three buzzer vehicles, two of them we do side ram. Now you could get lucky and get more side rams throughout the rest uh, throughout the game and if you actually get it at any point great however the last chance that you'll have to get five side ram vehicle kills is when you're leaving the under dunes because there are more buzzard vehicles in there and you already have three buzzard vehicles destroyed, so once you kill two more, then you, you get the objective for destroying five buzzard vehicles. Now buzzard vehicles are actually incredibly weak. So if you don't have the side ram challenge then, then you can hit those vehicles, destroy them with the side ram. And that'll pop up. Another thing you could do which is slower, exactly 15 seconds slower, somewhere around 15, a little less than 15 seconds. Um, you give water to wanderers, just a group of people who are walking around. You could do that if you need it, if you're desperate, if you have the water. So three optional for you right there. As far as routing, there's no other um, objectives that we go out of our way for. Just uh, the 25 hit combos that are repeatable. And should you get lucky, the Fury challenges. 60, 50, 40, and 30 second Fury challenges are routed in the game. Those are almost necessary. The 22nd is optional, but it does help. And the 10 second is if you are that lucky or that good. <laughs> it's, it's the, and as far as getting 25 hit combos, you have one, two, three, four, five, Six. Six opportunities to do it without wasting time. Two is at the first camp. Your third is at the second camp with the big dog where you get the paint for the car. The fourth is Pink Eyes Stronghold with those enemies that you had to clear out. One, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. Your fourth one is um, 
when you do the Lust for Powder Wasteland mission. That's your fourth opportunity. The fifth one is in Pink Eye Stronghold. And your last opportunity to get 25 hit combo is in the Under Dunes. Also in Smoke Rises, um, that is your chance to impale five enemies with a Thunder Stick. So that is another optional objective for you. And I think that's it. In these videos, any help you need, you can refer back to any, any particular section and just watch it over and over again. But it helps if you actually do it yourself to actually get the experience. To know what you're to instinctively know what you're looking for and what you have to do this is just a reference and a guide for future speedrunners should they ever pick up the game I think that's it though any questions I'll be happy to answer in the comments okay like, subscribe. Good luck out there. Have a good life. Later.